to talk about athletes not only on the football field but he got it done on the basketball court as well and here is a look back at one of the best we've ever seen here in the summit city man it felt so good it felt so good i can't even explain how i felt james hardy burst onto the football scene august 22nd 2003 catching three touchdown passes to lead elmhurst over number one dwinger snapping a 64 game losing streak but basketball was his first passion. He graduated as the city's all-time leading scorer with 1,823 points and led Elmhurst to the three-day state title game as a junior. It really didn't sink in until I saw how everybody reacted after the game. and I really didn't want to, but I just had to join them. I just had to. He finds 82 Hardy. Watch him snatch it out of the air. Basketball led him to IU, but his six foot six frame made him a rare talent on the football field. It's great for the university, it's great for the program, the fans, and the alumni. Um, it, it's just a wonderful feeling right now, but we're not done yet. He still holds IU records for career receptions, receiving yards, and most touchdown catches in a career. All that in just three seasons as he left Bloomington after his junior year and was selected in the second round by the Buffalo Bills. 41st overall. You're a Buffalo Bill, and how does it feel to be a Buffalo Bill? <laughs> and it sort of put a smile on my face. As a rookie, the expectations were big for the supersized receiver in Buffalo, and he looked like a star in the making. Mentally, you had to be more prepared since this, these guys are the best at this level. This grab against the Jaguars on September 14, 2008, was his first NFL touchdown, but his career would be cut short by injuries, and he ended with 10 receptions, 96 yards and a couple of scores.